Today, today, we're gonna win. We're gonna fight, 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 fight. There's a football coach, and then there's the football coach at Notre Dame. Because nobody does it like Notre Dame. Inside Notre Dame football with Brian Kelly is brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame football is also sponsored by Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS. And the Fighting Irish have finished an undefeated regular season. And now they will head to Miami. books now you put yourself in the history books 12 and 0 undefeated and we won this game like we won every game this year our will our determination Reach. our want and desire uh, to win football games yeah. is unmatched unparalleled yeah. and it's because of you and a great coaching staff yeah. we're going southeast yeah! The victorious Notre Dame locker room after the Fighting Irish clinched a spot in the national championship game with a win in Los Angeles over arch rival USC. Hello again Irish fans and welcome to this week's edition of Inside Notre Dame Football with Brian Kelly. I'm Jack Nolan. Notre Dame used the same formula to beat the Trojans that it has followed all season long, combining a defense that held the USC rushing attack to just 95 yards with a mistake-free offense that ran for more than 200 yards for the seventh time this season. Our guys have an incredible resolve regardless of the circumstances of coming up and finding ways to win. That's all we talk about. We don't talk about style points. We don't talk about anything else. Just find ways to win and these guys continue to do that. I'm so proud of my coaches. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of our players uh, and their their grit and toughness. Hello, I'm Brian Erlacher, professional defender. And once again, I'm here to protect you from DirecTV. Right on. Because now they're trying to sell you a free DVR upgrade that costs you up to $28 more a month. That's a lot of cheese. And DirecTV is still trying to lock you into a two-year contract that could cost you over 2,800 bucks. Not again. That's why Xfinity from Comcast is the best call. That's what I thought. Get started with this great offer. Call 1-800-XFINITY today. Xfinity, the future of awesome. All of my days. And I've been trying to find Unlimited phone, unlimited data, unlimited life. The Galaxy S3 Unlimited Edition with truly unlimited data from Sprint. Your first move doesn't happen on the field. It happens before your opponent even sees you. It can leave you hanging. Steal your spark. Your first move can jeopardize everything you've worked for. Or fuel it. Your first move can set up your success. Before you've even played the game. Carb energy to fuel athletes. Gatorade Prime, part of the G-Series. Yeah, Did I just change that side for you? Window or aisle? Uh, right. Yes, sir? Excuse me. Can I help you? Yeah. It's, 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 the restroom? Oh, it's right behind you. You just turn right there. Virgin America knows it's better for Xerox to manage their call centers, so they can focus on making flying cool again. With Xerox, you're ready for real business.
USC won the toss, but deferred, giving the ball to Notre Dame to begin the 84th meeting between the Trojans and the Irish. Coach Kelly responded with a no-huddle up-tempo offensive attack that led to a field goal to give the Irish a lead they never relinquished. Coach talked with Jeff Jeffers of the Notre Dame IMG Radio Network about his game-opening strategy. Well, they wanted to be aggressive defensively, and I think any time uh, a, a defense wants to play that way, you can't sit back, especially when you're going for an undefeated season. You can't wait and wish that it happens. you got to go make something happen. I thought we did that. Two big catches on your second possession by Tyler. Well, we got him matched up one-on-one -on -one in, in both instances uh, through man-to-man -man coverage, and we felt like he's not a guy that you can play man-to-man -man against. you got to double and you got to play zone. They don't want to play zone. So we knew we'd have some good matchups. You got in the end zone once, Theo with a great run. Yeah, well, we emptied the, uh, the formation out uh, to get a good box look. In other words, there was only one linebacker in there and, and uh, a great read by uh, Everett because he's supposed to throw the ball out and that one is a read play and he, he read it correctly. If you want to know about the fighting Irish, you just need to look at Theo Riddick. Here's a guy that was a wide receiver. We asked him to move back to running back. In game 12, he manages 140 yards, but broke countless tackles and, and got us the tough yards that we needed today. It, it, you just look at his jersey after the game. I mean, you just go, there's no wonder why this team has got the toughness that it does. Everett made a lot of good decisions tonight. He did. He, didn't, he, he got rid of the football. Um, I think he would tell you that uh, in the red zone, uh, there's some plays that we left out there, uh, but he was efficient. He was on top of it. He was making the right checks. Uh, I was proud of him in the Coliseum. USC at the end of the first half tried to go deep. Kavari makes a big, big play that produces a key three. It was. It was three points uh, that we needed right before the half. 52-yarder by Kyle Brinza. You know, a first-year kicker for us uh, came up big for us today. Kyle Brinza has more field goals for a season than any Notre Dame kicker. He's, he's level-headed, and, and uh, he does not get caught up in the moment. Now he may miss a kick here or there and we want to, you know, obviously make them all, but uh, he does not get emotional and, and the moment is not too big for him. How hard is that for, for a person who's not really a veteran? Well, I think you got to look at it in recruiting. We saw him want a state championship in Michigan um, with, with that kind of uh, mental approach to things. So uh, I think you got to look for it and we got it in him. Brinza's 52-yard field goal, his third of the half, gave the Irish a 16-10 halftime lead and put them just 30 minutes away from a trip to Miami to play for the national championship. Here's what Coach Kelly had to say to his players as he sent them back onto the field to close the deal. Hi, man, listen up. This is it. This is it. You get to play the last two quarters together. Play together and play to the last second. That's who we are. Be who we are. Play with your brothers. You got two quarters left with them. Play it on out there, man. You got a great opportunity. Let's go seize the moment. Let's go play. Let's go! Let's go. Cheddar, bacon, onion. Yeah, it's uh, it's three Mendes. <laughs> three Mendes. Three Mendes. Say hello to McDonald's new three Mendes. CBO smooth cheddar, crispy bacon, grilled onions on the Angus Third Pounder or premium chicken sandwiches. CBO, the simple joy of three Mendes. Yeah. Turn your signature into a new Mazda. During Mazda's Zero to Drive event, lease select 2013 Mazdas for zero down, zero security deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero do it signing. It's our best deal of the season, but it's only for a limited time. During Mazda's Zero to Drive event, lease a 2013 Mazda 3 ISV for $219 a month for 39 months. At Meyer, you'll be surprised to find the brands on your gift list at low Meyer prices. 
That means Kelly can save money and deliver an extra special Christmas morning surprise. Experience the joy of giving this holiday with the biggest brands at low Meyer prices. Experience the savings, experience the difference. Meyer. Getting almost as much attention as Notre Dame's return to the top of the college football world is the debate over whether Manti Teo should win the Heisman Trophy this year. Manti gave his supporters some more fuel with a big interception on the second play of the second half. Huge. I, we just didn't capitalize on it, but he's all over the place. And, you know, it's that interception. It's, it's his leadership. He's just, uh, well, he's Manti. By the time you tape your last show, you'll know who won the Heisman. Manti made a big step forward with the pick. Well, he made a big step forward by uh, leading a football team to 12-0 and number one in the country, as well as impacting another football game today. And uh, again, uh, if, he, if he's not deserving of a Heisman, I, I don't know really what, uh, what the trophy's for. Um, he, he's just uh, he's an incredible player. Touched on Tyler again, he sets the all-time record for catches by a tight end. He seemingly makes the huge play no matter what the coverage. After the catch is where he's been huge for us. He'll catch an 8 to 10 yard pass and turn it into 25, 30 yards. Uh, that was big for us uh, in the third quarter. George with a big kickoff return. Great kickoff return gave us the field position necessary to respond from the score uh, that USC had late in the game and, and that proved to be the difference. Fourth quarter things are going back and forth. Theo comes through with a big 15 yard run. Great spin move to get about five extra. Yeah, I mean, he made people miss all day, ran physical. He was a guy that um, would not be denied tonight, and uh, his heart was as, uh, as big as anybody out there. A hallmark of this team has been goal line defense. Talk about the goal line stand. Well, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's now part of the history books, uh, another incredible goal line stand. Anytime you stop somebody inside your two-yard line uh, on four downs, uh, it's just grit, resolve, determination. They weren't going to let him in the end zone. It's uh, fun to watch. You're going to the national championship game. Has that sunk in yet? Not yet. Not yet. I, I think what, what has sunk in is that these kids um, did everything that they were asked this year, and they won all their games. And uh, that's pretty special. There is your final score as the Irish add the Trojans to the list of nine teams Notre Dame has held to one offensive touchdown or less this season. There is a look at your final stats provided by UND.com. Stats that indicate a dominant performance by Notre Dame and a game that was not as close as the final score indicated. Against USC, Kyle Brinza tied the school record for field goals in a game with five, set the school record for field goals in a season with 23, and established a career high with his 52-yard field goal on on the last play of the first half. This week's UND.com Inside Angle gives you a good look from the end zone at just how strong a kicker's leg has to be to kick a 52-yard field goal. You just put the ball down and uh you know, if there's time on the clock, you know, we're going to battle. You know, we're not going to give up. And this team, especially the defense, you know, the, you know, the defense, you know, we, we got a lot of characters. You know, we got a lot of guys that play hard. Play hard, they play with heart. So, uh, like I said, as long as you put the ball down and, you know, they're not in the end zone, we're going to fight. Defensive end and captain Capron Lewis Moore talking about Notre Dame's goal line stand late in the fourth quarter that just about wrapped up victory number 12 on the season and a trip to the national championship game. Can't describe the feeling. Um, you're just caught up in the moment and um, just happy we got a W today. My hat goes off to everyone in that locker room. Ecstatic. Uh, you know, there's probably a lot of other words that could describe it, but, you know, to be going back to my home home state and be competing for a national championship, it's it's truly a blessing. It feels spectacular. Um, oh, my gosh. You know, I'm still I'm still in awe. I don't think it's hit me yet, but, uh, you know, it's, a, it's the best feeling in the world. And now it's a blessing that my team and me are able to now go down to Miami and be able to play for... Uh, everything that somebody wants in college, everyone is looking to go out there and get that crystal ball and be able to hold it up. There is no question it has been a dream season for the Fighting Irish, but Manti Teo knows there is still one more very big dream that has not yet come true. We had a dream and uh, we put in the work to make sure that that dream comes true and now we have to, you know, go to work and make sure that, uh, you know, we, we prepare ourselves for 
for the national championship. Uh, now it's just being able to practice and become more of a team um, and be able to go out there and have confidence more in ourselves and be able to understand the other team and uh, being able to do everything right. You know, obviously we got one more game. You know, we you know we want to win for that. You know, we want to win the Natty and everything. But uh, you know, now we're just going to enjoy and relish the moment. After the game, Coach Kelly gave out a game ball to the man who has developed into one of the most versatile running backs in the country, Theo Riddick. But it was not the only game ball that was handed out. Once again, everybody coming together, <coughs> finding a way to win. Offense, defense, special teams, everybody pitching in. But this guy tonight ran the ball. Woo! Yeah, As everybody knows, you know, the players are out there on the field. We battle, we battle together. But on behalf of the players, game ball, Coach Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. We love seeing you at Bank of America. But we know you want to be able to bank wherever you are. Bank of America Mobile Banking lets you bank on your schedule. Now you can securely deposit checks you get right away with your smartphone camera. Watch this. It doesn't get more convenient than that. See? Success. It's amazing. Check balances, pay bills. And much, much more. Right here. Bank on your schedule and deposit checks on the go. Download the Bank of America Mobile Banking app today. I need to get back to work. Three, two, one. It's hard to call it radio when it's this out of the box. Listen to that. <laughs> Man, you know just what to say. You might be a redneck. Yeah. Fox News alert on several dramatic new developments. Frank Sinatra. You're a delightful audience. Let's go to Margaritaville. To the 10, to the 5. Touchdown. This is satellite radio. Welcome to Sirius XM. The Fighting Irish celebrating going to the championship game after beating USC. This year's Notre Dame USC game marked the sixth time a top ranked Notre Dame team has ended the regular season in LA against the Trojans and the fourth time the Irish have come away victorious among the wins a 1988 victory over the then second ranked Trojans that helped propel the Irish to their last national championship. You know, you're playing against a top-ranked team, uh, one against number two. I didn't have to worry about anything. Rodney Peake had all the pressure on him. And that was so good about playing against those other top-ranked quarterbacks that it made my job look easy. The only thing I had to do was go out there and secure the ball, make sure I don't turn the ball over, make sure I put my team in the right situation as far as play calling, and everything would take its, take its course. Right on the option, carrying for the first time to the 40, to the 45, down the sideline, at the 40, at the 30, at the 20. He could go all the way to 10 to 5. Touchdown, Irish! If you look at that run, um, just like it was just yesterday, you got the offensive line doing a great job up front, and Anthony Johnson went, went to the left-hand side, did a great fake that took some people out of, out of the equation, um, and Mark Green. Now, Mark Carrier, who was playing for USC, has either me or Mark to take, so he decides to take Mark instead. So I'm going down the sideline. I have one guy to beat. And um, I'm just thinking, don't let him catch me. I'm scared of getting hit. Run. Um, so when I did that, and I didn't look behind, but I looked to the right, and I saw Mark Green just running up close to me. I was like, whoa, I thought I was fast, but Mark Green is even faster than me. Yeah, I remember when Stan Smogala intercepted uh, Rodney Pete and and he jetted down the sideline. Wide out left, throws the ball right over the middle. The pass is intercepted. Picked off by the Irish. It's Magana. Magana to the 30, to the 20. He got to the 10, to 5. A touchdown! That's Magana. Picked off Rodney Peak and returned it for a score. You know, it was a hot day. He came to play, there's no question. We had a great defense. They couldn't get past our defense. 
Of course, the Irish beat the Trojans that day 27 to 10 and then beat third ranked West Virginia in the Fiesta Bowl to win the 1988 National Championship. For more 125 years of Notre Dame football moments, just log on to UND.com and click on the 125 years logo. Notre Dame has run for at least 200 yards seven times this season, including six of the last eight games. One of the big contributors to this impressive rushing attack is center Braxton Cave, who will now take on my questions in this week's 60 second drill. Favorite all time movie? Rudy. Player on the team most like you? Uh, Zach Martin. Fastest guy on the team? Searwood. Who's been the biggest influence in your life? My dad. First car you ever drove? Uh, Toyota Camry. Favorite TV show? Uh, Sons of Anarchy. Do you have a celebrity crush? Uh, not really, no. Favorite breakfast meal? Uh, omelet. Best nickname on the team and who has it? Uh, Lewis, I was chocolate. One thing you always hear from Coach Kelly at practice? Uh, knucklehead. Toughest player to block on the team? Uh, Lewis Nix. Hardest hitter on the team? Manta. Best singer on the team? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have to go with Mike Golick. Best dancer on the team? Theo Riddick. Best comedian on the team? <laughs> Uh, Tyler Stockton. Best dresser on the team? Theo Riddick. Worst dresser on the team? Tyler Stockton. Best thing about playing for Notre Dame? The tradition. Braxton Cave, you completed the 60 second drill on Inside Thank Notre you. Football. Bob, these projections, they're optimistic. Productivity up, cost down, time to market reduced. Those are good things. Upstairs, they will see fantasy. Not fantasy, logistics. UPS came in. Analyzes supply chain, inventory systems. UPS. UPS. Not fantasy. Who would have thought? I did. We did, Bob. We did. Got it. I'm very happy I made the switch. It's easy. They're great. As I go out, being nervous about going out into the world. You switch because... For what you get and what, what they give back. Of the people. It just be another thing that I know is there for me all the time. It's a no-brainer. It's about family. It's about values. It's about doing things the right way. And that's why I'm sticking with it. You just get sucked in, and it's great. We're there. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. Come home. You know you're going to get the best when you go to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union. It's time now for this week's Ask Coach Kelly question presented by CBTS. This week's question comes all the way from an Irishman living in London, Kevin McManus. Kevin asks, Coach, what type of support network does Notre Dame have to help student athletes keep up with their studies and make good decisions off the field? Great question. We have an academic uh, resource center for our athletes uh, uh, that's just as good as anyone in the country and uh, they, they provide them with tutors, uh, they provide them with uh, uh, all kinds of uh, additional help um, in preparing for exams. Uh, it's just uh, an incredible program and it's, and it's the reason why we have one of the, the, the highest graduation rates every year because of our academic support staff. They're incredible. 12 games, 12 wins, one game left. The Fighting Irish will play for the national championship in Miami on Monday night, January 7th. After beating USC, Coach Kelly was asked what this accomplishment means to him. You're, you're in this business to be around great kids. You're in this business because it's collegiate athletics and the way it's set up, only two teams can play for a national championship. And, and so it feels great that you've got that, that opportunity to play for a national championship. Inside Notre Dame football will return over the holidays with a special championship game preview edition. Check your local listings for air times. Until then, savor this Irish fans. It has been a truly special season. Thank you for watching and as always, go Irish. Inside Notre Dame football with Brian Kelly has been brought to you by Team Notre Dame members Adidas, Gatorade, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Sprint, and Xerox. Inside Notre Dame football is also sponsored by Bank of America, CBTS, Xfinity from Comcast, Mazda, Meyer, Notre Dame Federal Credit Union, Sirius XM Satellite Radio, and UPS.